a morning to one and all. Although it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. I always do, do that, don't I? So I'm just about to prepare some a dinner. Now you can call this fajitas, tacos, but I didn't buy a kit. I'm going to just try and do it myself because I had wraps. bought a seasoning kit. Oh, oh, my, bra my bracelet got stuck in the drawer. And, um, <clears throat> yes, I'm just going to pull it all together myself. So first things first. Little onion, little red onion. I'm going to fry this off with some peppers, minced meat and a seasoning kit. Let me just grab that, actually. You see this what I'm talking about? It says fajita. <laughs> but is it more taco? Because it's actually minced meat I'm using and not chicken. I did have chicken, but Dan wanted minced meat, so we'll go along with it. And then I've got a few little jobs I've got to do after this. But I thought I'll do the clean ones first, and that's the dinner. Now we've finally got a new hose, I want to actually get doing this um, tank of mine, put the sachet down it. All right, let's get rid of that. It's actually been really quite hectic today. <laughs> it's actually been quite a hectic week actually. Yeah, sort of quite a little bit worn out. <laughs> but it's been brilliant, it's been really nice week, spending a lot of time with our friends Sammy and JP. Oh, Sammy's made me something really nice, so I'll show you that in a minute. <sighs> gonna dice this try and dice this as small as I can but I'm a little bit all over the place really because for one I was waiting for a doctor a doctor to call me today it's been eight days and he was supposed to call with my results <laughs> well I say he was I've been waiting all the day got to two o'clock and I said to Dan it is the eighth isn't it I looked at my calendar got to wait another seven eight days for it yeah I got the wrong day so that's the right pain so it obviously ain't urgent so that's good news right I'm gonna fry these off first and then dump the mints in just gently he always likes a yellow one I don't <laughs> I prefer the green and red so just a little bit of each There we go. Let's get those fried off. Now what I will do with that as well actually, let me just get it on the go. Yeah, so I just think some taco wraps tonight will be nice. He doesn't need much else with that really. I'm gonna put those in a Ziploc bag actually. Yeah, what I think I'm going to do with that is put maybe some... I've been told about this. Hello, Pinos. Now, we all say it different. I say jalapenos. I'm going to put some jalapenos in there. And a lot of people call it jalapenos. <laughs> right. Let's get them in the fridge. So I'm, pre I'm actually pre-making this. We're just going to be... Dead easy. Get some jalapenos. Now, actually, these ones are quite a little bit spicy. Oh, oh no. I'm not having a very good week. I keep doing silly things. <laughs> uh, never mind. These things happen. Right. Yeah, I just got a just a Tesco fajito seasoning. That'll be fine. To be honest, I don't even know if they they have branded ones. So I'm only going to cook this off lightly, and then add the mince. Just a little bit, because I probably will be sprinkling some on top as well. Cooking nicely. This is going to make a lot of grub, but it's all right because he can probably have it tomorrow. So I've took a few out again. I'm just going to chop these up for 
like a garnish, you know, at the end. A little bit of spice. And then I'm going to just grate some cheese as well. Get that all prepared. Keep that in the fridge. Again, just cheap block of cheese. Not fancy. Does the job. Mm. I don't really know what I'm having tonight. I suppose I could have this, but I'm not a massive fan of it. Don't know, we'll see. Right, I've got a, got a big pile of cheese I've got to grate now for his toppings. It's actually smelling really nice. So I've finished with the cheese, I don't want too much. So everybody seems to love my little stories, right? So let me think of just a couple today. Now that I've, I'm just thinking of a couple doing the dinner and it just brings me back to when I was a little girl, child. And we used to say to me, mum, what's, oh, what's for dinner, mum? When's dinner, what's for dinner? And then she'd always reply, uh, pig's knuckle. And then we'd, we'd be like, no, I don't want pig's knuckle. Or she'd, or she'd be going like dry rooty or bread bread and butter and water. But it was always pig's knuckle. It wasn't really pig's knuckle, but that was her response. That's just a little quick story. Were, was anyone else to, told anything like that when you were asking what's for dinner? And actually, I have just thought, actually, what I've got for dinner tonight. I made... Um, chicken rolls last night I used some sliced chicken and mayonnaise in a roll and these lovely fresh rolls I made two for me and some croquettes but I actually only ate one so I'll have one of those tonight for dinner it's been in the fridge I'm not going to waste it right I think at this point I might actually start adding the minced meat soft enough I'd like it to get browner but I'm hoping that's going to do that while it's um cooking with the mince now that's an awful lot of mince I don't know really whether to add all this but we'll see how we go I mean I could do because he will eat this for a couple of days I'm sure he will let's, let's get that in there is there any plastic on the bottom no It's cooking slowly because I'm only on my simmer hob now, which isn't very powerful, but it's better to be slow than fast, isn't it, and get it cooked properly. So we actually had JP and Sammy round yesterday in the morning, having a few drinks, just a good laugh, and then we were talking about um, foods and stuff like that. Sammy reckons she absolutely loves chicken feet. And I just can't understand it because there's no sort of meat on there and stuff like that. Anyway, I let her say what she had to say. And I never actually told her. I used to work in a chicken factory. It was EV, evisceration. And that's the uh, department where you actually have to stick your hand in, take the guts out of the chicken. I'm sorry if you're eating or you're vegetarian, vegan. I don't know what one's what. So I worked in there and I worked there for quite a few years. I really enjoyed that job actually, I loved it. Uh, the whole place just shut down in the end. And um, anyway, what they used to do with the chicken feet, <laughs> they used to go on like this conveyor belt and literally straight out, outside into like these big skips basically. They were just skips, nothing hygienic about them at all. And then they'd um, literally then get sort of shipped over to like China and places and Hong Kong like that. So I dare say to Sammy basically what she likes eating is eating basically out of a skip. <laughs> no, but yeah, she likes chicken feet. But yeah, he used to work there. And that was one of my favourite jobs actually. Well, I say one of my, yeah, one of my favourites. I've had quite a few good jobs I've enjoyed. Yep, I really enjoyed that. But anyway, talking about the lovely Sammy, she's actually made, crocheted me. Well, she wasn't specifically for me. She actually came around with a massive bag full. These tiny little hearts. 
so she said that I could pick one or two look at the glitter wool on that so I picked one or two anyway well I originally picked one you know I didn't want to be greasy <laughs> to sort of I'm gonna stick a uh, sew a ribbon on that and hang it from there with all my other little bits of dribs and drabs and jazz um, but I'll tell you why she she actually makes these um, hold on let me put you down because I've still got to do this yeah I'll tell you why she actually makes these and I think it's stemmed from herself basically she she basically made them is like when you're deceased felt like if you've just had a lost loved one basically and they're meant to be like comfort little things like that and she uses these as little comfort things um, she'll carry one practically around with her all the time and then she's actually come up with this lovely idea of making cards putting them in like a little pocket and it'll be like I forget what she said now pocket full of love or something and because she makes cards as well she's very creative and crafty which I thought that would be a lovely idea people would buy those but yeah how cute and sentimental is that there's actually a reason behind making the heart you know and I think that's lovely she she basically gives them away and just this comfort little hearts for everybody which I thought was quite sweet so out of all my family my all my family are really sort of um I wouldn't say crafty but they have skills you know they've uh what is the word what I'm looking for talent in doing something and basically with a lot of my family is musical instruments and stuff like that or artistic they can paint and draw and stuff and I've always felt that I've just never been very artistic in in anything I've ever done <laughs> but it was really sweet what JP said to me the other day he said you're you're really good at vlogging and I thought about it and I thought you know what that is one thing that I can generally say that I'd be I am very I feel really confident in doing and really good at so yeah I feel like now I've got a skill not a skill but a talent now I have actually been quite crafty myself in the past I'm just mixing this up but that's another story for another day because you all seem to like my stories <laughs> this is cooking slow I feel like it's never gonna brown <laughs> It's not that I really actually want this to go brown. It was more the vegetables that wanted to go brown. Maybe I should have browned them up a bit more before putting the minced meat in. Right, anyway, I'm going to let that sort of... Put, I'm going to put some foil over the top of that and sort of let that cook off for a little bit. Quick check. Oh, OK, it's drying out a little bit. <laughs> so the mince is definitely cooked. what I'm going to do now Dan don't like big lumps of mince you know what I mean <laughs> so I always have to try and break those bits up for him mm -hmm. I get it though I get it I, I don't particularly like it. I think that's what puts me off on mince but this is actually one of his favourite um, meats you could buy him literally a fillet steak and he just wouldn't appreciate it <laughs> Not in the sense that he's ungrateful, I mean in the sense that he just, he doesn't really know what he's eating, but he likes mince. Right, I'm going to put the whole packet of this in. Now it doesn't ever say you need to add water, but um, I'm sure I always add a little bit. Make sure it's all covered. Oh man, that's smelling spicy! What one is this? Oh, a taste of Mexico. He had two choices. Taste of Mexico or a sort of smoky barbecue. And he's not a big fan of barbecue, so that smells well spicy. All right, so I am going to pour just a tiny bit of water into that. And then this should be all good to ready to go then, just to warm up for later on. Right, that's looking much better now. And it's moist as well. I know Dan wouldn't like dry, dry, dry meat. So, although it says not to add water, I might even have to add it again, drop of water when I'm reheating that. 
So that's that's all done. That smells absolutely amazing. Turn that off. Keep the foil over it. And it's still going to cook. I'll leave that on there and it will still keep cooking. Right, now the dirty jobs. <laughs> right, so Dan has actually gone out to play with JP. Ooh. <laughs> I told him to be back by tea time. <laughs> but we've got two toilets to empty. I don't think it's fair if he comes home. And um, it's, it's, so anyway, I'm going to do the two toilets. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to this because I'm still meant to be doing the drainage yet. Ooh, so I've got this one under here. If I can manage it. I'm going to do this and he's still ain't probably going to appreciate it, is he? <laughs> no, I'm sure he will. All right, let's get down and empty these toilets. I am actually, though, one of these girls that don't mind ever getting my hands dirty. You know, if it needs doing, it needs doing, doesn't it? Just get the job done. Right, I did actually just get caught up a little bit there with some viewers that know us. Just had a lovely, lovely chat. But I tell you what, the wind's picking up now, so I really want to just hurry up and get this done. <sighs> if I'll be honest, I've forgotten how to do it. But as soon as I took the lid off, it smelled of pear drops. Neil has this um, special chemical you can put down your waste tanks and your toilets and it's amazing it smells like um pear drops right so i am a bit of a perfectionist when i do it i will keep rinsing and rinsing and rinsing it whereas i know dan he'll just sort of hurry it up One down, one to go. I tell you what, it's beautiful when that sun comes out though. It's actually really warm. It's quite hot. So the second toilet didn't go too well. Right, I got to the gate. Dan came round the corner. All of a sudden, I could smell something. I realised the toilet's leaking everywhere. The big circle on it. I d I Basically, the toilet's leaking everywhere. Dan comes home and he's like, I can't leave you for two minutes. Everything I touch, I just keep breaking and blowing up and sinking and putting on fire. So I couldn't do the second toilet. Um, he was appreciative though. Um, it looks like we might need a new toilet. Definitely need a new toilet. I said to him, can we fix it? He said, no. Oh, I should just leave it to him next time, shan't I?
there we go that's my tea i've got a chicken mayo roll from yesterday i'm gonna make use of and some jibs and drabs that's lime pickle by the way <laughs> and this is dad's it's looking amazing i'm gonna make a second one for him good a beautiful morning so it is the next day i never got around to doing the um drain business waste tank for the fact that i just it was getting to the point i was breaking things and stuff like that everything was turning into a disaster so i've, I've unfortunately got that job to do this morning i've just took the cap off and it's rank <laughs> i've just asked dan if we can just pull it on ramps for a minute just while i do it but he's saying no so the water the water needs to flow back would you see down the drain down the hole so anyway i'm going to give this a go so as it's now all settled this is what it all looks like look look at that <laughs> that is minging <laughs> all right so i'm going to get dan now in a minute to plug the hose in well i just quickly find this sachet where's the sachet gone oh i might have to ask dan where that sachet is gone no i'm not sure bear with me right so i found it it's actually a fetford brand a tank blaster um i haven't got the original packet now but apparently it clears crud and that's what i need right so before i do actually put that in you've got to fill the whole tank up with water and it's going to help i want to try and flush as much as that through as possible first but i'm not going to be spending too long on this this morning i really just want to get it done new hose look <laughs> oh it doesn't work it doesn't work honey right so tank is actually oh uh the water's on now dan's put the water on but that's got to be the very first time i've ever seen the outlet on that it's actually there look so that's where it is i always thought it was more over here right so i'm going to aim to try and get all that crud down through that bit <laughs> that's all I need first thing it doesn't work honey thank god this ain't smell of even yeah I don't really want to be putting my sachet in until all this crud's gone do I it's rank Right, I've been at that for quite some time. As you can see, it's still murky. And there's no flow to it. So what I'm thinking... <coughs> hopefully I don't get into trouble and start breaking things. What I'm thinking is, this waste pipe on here is hindering it. It's not flowing through properly. So I'm going to find the waste bowl, take that hose off and see if it'll flush through a little bit better. Where's the bowl though? Definitely got one here somewhere. Oh, there it is. All right. <laughs> Let's give this one a go. You'll see now in a minute when I take this pipe off, it actually flows through, flows out, because it's actually quite long. Well, I don't know how to do this though. How do I do this? Just pull it off, yeah? okay i'm thinking now i'm gonna get a lot more out of it yep it's definitely getting clearer to show you the bowl so the bowl's gonna need emptying now and i've got a lovely white dress on today that's what i'm talking about look it's actually managing to get it out now all that soap scud yep definitely getting clearer look you can see there's actually a flow now as well brilliant So that is an awful lot cleaner now. I can actually see the bottom of the, uh, the, 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 
the tank. <laughs> I can still see the odd little bit of crud, so to say. I'll just go and show you my second bucket load. See, it's coming out a lot cleaner now. So if I fill this right up now, I'll give it one more last blast, but I think that's about it really. And then put my sachet in, close that so it doesn't come out and fill it up. So this is meant to actually help. You do have prongs in there, like I've said. And if your gauge is showing that uh, your waist tank's full and you know it's not, then you know there's some, some crud on it. <laughs> right, let's fill this up. Mm. It's getting all nice and bubbly in there. Right, that's as much as I'm going to do. I've, you're supposed to fill it right to the top and the froth is definitely touching the top of this. All right, so let's close that. I'll give this a wipe down. Um, you're meant to leave it in overnight. Apparently you can do your toilet, sir. I think it's your toilet cassettes or something like that with this as well. I'm not doing that. I've only been given the one sachet anyway, but I'm going to see how this goes. And... Um, get a little fresh oh right that's knocked it out of me right so i'm gonna wrap this one up i just want to say basically i don't have no topics when i'm vlogging one day i could be doing this the next day i could be doing that my channel isn't revolved around one particular thing i just wanted to put that in there well i hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next take care bye